Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, share, likes, and watch this video. This will help you a lot in order you to pass any kind of examination, whether it's a math problems, teacher's board exam, civil service board exam, engineering math, UPCAT, and DOST, NTAP, and so on. So, first, don't skip any video here this because this will help you a lot. Subscribe, share, likes, and watch this video. Okay, let's proceed for the number 60. If the area of triangle is 36 and its base, what is the length of the altitude of that base? So we need to recall the area of the triangle. So the area of triangle one half base time is height and the area is 36 and one half and the base is nine we are looking for the height take note the height is also the same as the altitude so we need for the look for the height so 36 cross multiplied by 2 so 9 times the height and 36 times 2 is 72 divided by 9 so our height is 8 so our height is 8 or the altitude is 8 so the answer is letter D so this is the given the answer is letter D okay P number 61 okay let's try to erase it again find the sum of the first 10 term and of the geometric progression 2 4 8 and 16 so when we speak the sum of geometric progression we have s of n is equals to a of 1 1 minus r of 10 or n sorry and then 1 minus r suppose that a1 and a1 is 2 16 divided by 2 is 8 8 divided by 2 is 4 and the ratio is 2 and n is 10 so we need to substitute S of N, A1, 1, 2 raised to 10, and then 1 minus R, or which is 2. Take note, 2 raised to 10, 2 raised to 10 is what? 2 raised to 10 is 1024 so we will write 2 here as an ace of 1 so 1024 minus or so, so we will proceed for this one s of n 2 1 minus 1024 negative 1 so if we will multiply s of n this will become 2 automatic negative 1 0 2 4 multiplied by 2 negative 1 if we will multiply this one so the answer is negative 2408 divided by negative 1 248 so this will be our final answer 2048 okay so our s of n will be letter a okay just only recall the formula for sum of geometric progression okay the formula for geometric progression number 62 where is number 62 
let's try to erase this one. Sixty-two. Find the midpoint of the segment joining O one and five K five and three. Again, let's proceed for the X and Y axis. Suppose we need to proceed for this one as an X and Y axis. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Suppose we have one and five here. And then one, two, three, four, five, and we have three here. And we are looking for the midpoint. Is that clear? But on the graph, it's already three and four. What's the formula for the midpoint? So midpoint, x of 1, x of 2 divided by 2 for the x. And then y, y, uh, y sub 1, y sub 2 divided by 2. Right? And then after that, we have 0 as 1 and 5. Or O, 1 and 5, K will be 5 and 3 right so let's go for the x of 1 x of 1 this is the x of 1 and then x of 2 y sub 1 and then y sub 2 is that correct and then x of 1 is 1 1 plus 5 this is 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then y sub 1, 5 plus 3 divided by 2 is 8 divided by 2 is 4. So the answer is 3 and 4. That's correct. So the answer is letter B. Okay. So the answer is letter B. So don't forget the midpoint formula. Okay, number 63. Let's proceed for the number 63. 63. What is 63? Find the equation of the perpendicular x minus 3, y and passing 2, negative 2 and 1. So, suppose that our equation x minus 3y is equals to 5 x minus 3y is equals to 5 we recall that y is equals to mx plus b how you will get the slope so negative 3y is equals to negative x plus 5 negative 3 negative 3 negative 3 so y is equals to negative uh, sorry one third x minus five and three so our m m is negative three is that correct because the reciprocal for one third is negative three and we know that y minus two y is of one is equals to m x of 2, x of 1. Passes through. Take note. Passes through. Passes through the what? Negative 2 and 1. So, negative 2 and 1. Right? So, again, negative 3, x minus negative 2, Suppose, a uh, negative, negative 2. And then, y sub 1, y minus 1. Then, after that, so, x, negative times negative is positive 2, negative 3, y minus 1. So, this will become y minus 1 is equals to, 
cross multip um, multiply not cross multiply multiply negative 3x minus 6 so again we will transpose this one as a 3x plus y is equals to negative 6 plus 1 3x plus y will become negative 5. So, this will be our final answer. So, what will be our answer? 3x plus y and negative 5. The answer is letter A. So, first, we need to recall. This is what you call the slope. Take note, this is the slope. Slope equation. This is the slope. Proceed for that and look for the M and the reciprocal for this one. And then after that, you will substitute the M for this equation. This is uh, equation of the line. So that will be the final answer. Okay, let's proceed for number 64. Let's proceed for number 64. Again, okay, we will erase. Number 64. The distance from the center to a side of the polygon. A center, B radius, C apothem, G central angle. Okay, when we speak about the center, the distance from the center of the side. Of, when we speak about polygon, we are referring for the number of sides. So, suppose our polygon is a pentagon. When we speak about pentagon... It has a five sides, right? Five sides, right? And we are looking for the, this is in circle, this is what you call the radius. But it is the center, this one is the central angle. Central angle. Okay, suppose. And this one, distance from the center, is what you call the apothem. Apothem. Take note from this part. Huh? Apothem. So the answer is letter C. Okay. Center, central angle, and apothem. Okay. Let's proceed for number 65. Find the other factor of x cubed plus 4x squared plus x plus 4 divided by, by x squared plus 1. So, we are looking for the factor. So, again, we have long division method. x cubed plus 4x squared plus, 4, uh, plus x plus 4 divided by x squared plus 1. So, x squared, oh sorry, x, x times x squared, x cubed. So, 1 times x is x, and we will bring down 4, x squared plus 4. So, 4, x squared, so we have 4, 4, x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. So, the factor, you are looking for the factor. The answer is letter B. So, you need to use the long division or you can also use the synthetic division. Do not use the remainder theorem. We, they are not asking. Synthetic division and long division. So, pay uh, number 66. Let's proceed for the number 66. Let's proceed for the number 66. This is the given. Last night, Ru Ruel read 12 pages on his school. Novel. Last night, Ruel read 12 pages in his school. Novel. And it took him 24 minutes. How long it take him to read the next 15 page? So, we are looking for the value. So, time for the page will be 12 page. 
right? We have 12. Take note. So, if we will divide that into, so we have 24, we have also the 24 minutes. So, if we will divide 24 divided by 12 is 2, right? And they are asking how long to read the 15. So, 2 times 15 is 30. So, 30 minutes. So, the answer is letter G. So, I repeat. This is for the pages. And this is for minutes. So, 24 divided by 12 is 2. How long it will take? So, 2 times 15 is 30 minutes. Okay, let's proceed for number 67. Where is number 67? Okay, let's proceed for number 67. Okay. Find the standard deviation of the number 1, 4, and 7. So, when we speak about standard deviation, we are referring for the arithmetic mean. So, n is equals to 3. So, when we speak our n, this is the number of sample. n is 3. Right? 1, 2, 3. And the formula for the arithmetic mean is we have x of 1, x of 2, x of 3. So, arithmetic mean. So, we have the mean divided by 3, right? Is that correct? So, 1 plus 4 plus 7 divided by 3. 1, 4 plus 7 divided by 3 is... 1 plus 4, 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So our n is uh, our x will be 4. For the average, is that correct? And then after that, we will proceed for the variance. And the variance, take note. Formula for the variance is summation of x1 minus the s of n x squared over n minus 1. Take note, our n is 3. Okay, let's try to substitute. Okay, let's try to erase this one again. Erase. So... Let's try to proceed. 1 minus 4 squared plus, again, 4 minus 4 squared. 4 minus 4 squared plus 7 minus 4 squared divided by n which is 3 so 3 minus 1 so 1 minus 4 squared is what so you need to proceed 1 minus 4 is negative 3 squared plus 0 7 minus 4 is 3 squared. Is that correct? So, 9 plus 9 divided by 9. 9 is 18. 18 divided by 2. Take note. Variance. You are looking for the variance. And the answer is square root of 9. So, this will be our summation. Summation. And then, the square root of 9 is 3. Okay. 
So, the answer is letter B. Again, summation. First, we need to look for the arithmetic mean. Our mean for the average is 3. Or, sorry, is 4. Right? Because 1 plus 4, 5, 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So 1 minus 4, 4 minus 4. Then after that, 3 squared, negative 3 squared, negative. Negative times negative is 9. So 9 plus 9 is 18. And the after that, we need to square root of 9. This is the variance. And our standard deviation is 3. So, the answer is 3. Okay. So, let's proceed for number 68. Do we have number 68 or do we need to have a break time? I think it's too long. 68. In how many ways? This is in how many ways which four children can take their places in a car having a six seats? So, we will proceed for the permutation. What's the formula for the permutation? What's the formula? I think permutation is N and then N minus R. Is that correct? Is that correct for myself? Permutation, we have the N and N minus R. And then we will substitute for the permutation. Permutation. Again, we have 6 and then 6 minus 4. Is that correct? So, 6 and then 2. So, what is permutation? 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and then 2 times 1. And then you will cancel this one. So, 6 times 5 times 4. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 times 4 is 120. 120 times 3. 120 is 360. So, the answer is 360 ways. So, this will be our final answer. It's letter C. Don't forget to recall all the formula for the permutation, combination, and n factorial. This is already the part of probability. Okay. So, I hope you understand everything on this math. Please don't skip any video. I will proceed to video number 9 because I need to have a break.